Okay. So today we are going to discuss about uh, the model of diffusion, uh, one of the very important model in geography, where we study about the different aspects of spatial diffusion of various uh, spatial compositions, various spatial com contents, which may be physical or cultural diffusion, whatever. Uh, this, is, uh, this is a concept which is developed as a model uh, by certain geographers. So we will first discuss about uh, how, what, the, what the diffusion is all about and then we will proceed step by step related to its uh, various uh, related mechanisms of diffusion model. So as you can see from the slide, uh, Diffusion as a, as a terminology refers to speed of spatial distribution uh, which may be like man, material or it may be even an idea uh, which may be a virtual idea. When we talk about man and material, this is a physical parameter which is diffused from one place to another uh, from a particular source center to its periphery. That is what diffusion is all about. So geographers' attention revolves around questions like uh, what is diffusion? So these are the various aspects which are covered by geographers in special, uh, where we study about what is diffusion as a whole, how diffusion takes place, and why diffusion occurs over space and time dimension. So these are the various parameters which are uh, dealt with geographers in general. In addition, we have some first area also that uh, lies in the diffusion mechanisms like uh, the Source, source center of diffusion from where a particular idea or a material is diffused, path and wave of diffusion, and low field setting and resetting of spatial pattern. So, this is the last point is very important from the geographic context uh, in the sense that uh, when things are diffused from one place to another, uh, it gives us a new pattern, a uh, new uh, spatial pattern. That is why uh, the study of diffusion is important in geography. So these are the general aspects that you have to hire, you have to first uh, deal with diffusion. Why we study in geography? What is the impact of studying diffusion in general? That is. So we'll go to the second slide here, uh, where we'll mainly focus on the development of the idea of diffusion as a model, where various uh, geographers are. Uh, name of geographers are taken into consideration. Uh, the pioneer in this direction is, uh, as you know, Frederick Ratzel, who is also known as the father of human geography. Uh, in his second volume of Anthropogeography, uh, which was written in German language, where he uh, uh, first introduced the term diffusion. Later on, uh, another geographer, C. S. Soar, started that diffusion, uh, stated that diffusion is a feeling of areas of the art, a general problem of social science. Feeling of spaces of the art. So, feeling means, the feeling of spaces means uh, the space is supposed to be become, which is filled by various compositions, various uh, parameters. It may be uh, feeling by physical component like a river which is coming from a particular source to its destination. So how the water is diffused. So you have a volcanic eruption, how a eruption is, erupted material is diffused over the surface of the earth. These are various dimensions which you may uh, deal with. A formal, however, a formal diffusion study in geography was done by Thorsten Hagerstel in 1935, who is regarded as the father of the model in general. Uh, in fact, Hagerstein is a person who is uh, uh, known as uh, uh, the pioneer who established diffusion as a model in geography. Thorsten Hagerstein. So these are the various uh, depending factors of diffusion uh, which were identified by Thorsten Hagerstein himself. He stated that there are three fundamental elements uh, which are related to diffusion. Uh, or uh, which are the determining factor of diffusion. One is the cost factor, the cost of moving of information from one place to another, that is. Uh, and the second one is connectivity factor, then the resistance towards diffusion. Resistance means the kind of obstruction towards a diffusion. 
if there are no obstruction diffusion will continue if obstruction occurs then diffusion will stop at that point that is that is the way how resistance can be defined so we are, we are, we are going to deal with this all all these elements one by one cost factor refers to the cost of bobbin information as you can say uh, from uh, from one point to another point material movement man, man movement or even movement of an idea uh, is uh, determined by the cost involvement uh, here it is normally inversely proportional means greater the cost lesser the diffusion in normal circumstances so we can cite the example of weber's models also here suppose in in weber's model inertial location model we talk about the metal movement from one place to another now how, how much cost is involved in metal movement we have to uh, we have to minimize the cost cost of movement from source to uh, the plant to keep the profit at a higher level isn't that so that is what cost factor is uh, involved with study of diffusion connectivity refers to the connection between two points unless there is connection there will be no diffusion the source and destination have to be connected by a path for things to be diffused the degree of spatial connectivity among place and people also defines diffusion that is why it has other implications like physical and mental connectivity over space and time so greater the connectivity more is the diffusion this is the normal situation then as i said earlier resistance means the obstructions that is offered by any particular parameter in diffusion uh, degree of resistance offered by the receptor receptor means uh, the person or the place who is going to accept the particular uh, commodity or particular content more the acceptance greater will be diffusion normal circumstances so receptors Place and people define how, when, uh, how and when the diffusion will be obstructed, rejected, or accepted. If it is, if the diffusion is uh, obstructed, then there will be no diffusion. If it is rejected, there is no question of diffusion at all. So in that case, acceptance will determine diffusion. More the acceptance, more is the diffusion. We can take the example of a, say for example, a fashion idea of a fashion. any fashion statement is diffused from one place to another provided it is accepted by the people isn't it accept accepted by people unless we accept there will be no diffusion it will be uh, confined to the particular place and eventually die then uh, we go into types of special diffusion there are basically three types of uh, diffusion Uh, one is the first one is the expansion diffusion, then relocation diffusion, then combination of expansion and relocation. So when we talk about the expansion diffusion, it refers to diffusion of man and material, or even idea as I said, from one place to another place without change of place of origin. That means the origin will remain intact. From there, it will diffuse to another place. Origin will remain same. intensity uh, intensity with amalgamating new areas for example high yielding rice from this is one example only i am putting here high yielding rice from philippines to rest of the rice producing countries of the world especially asia that is diffusion but, but that diffusion doesn't mean that philippines lost its place of origin it is already there from there it is diffused to other parts of asia high yielding rice This type of diffusion is known as expansion diffusion. There are certain sometimes also like contagious expansion by direct contact. Suppose for a disease, if it is diffused from a place of origin to another place by contact, then it is contagious. Then hierarchic diffusion, where spread in levels, one level to another. For example, TV, internet, etc., from city to village. So that is higher. hierarchy diffusion not exactly the continuous but one hierarchy to another for example tv tv was initially developed in uh, means uh, diffused towards the city 
then it was traced to the town, then eventually it was entered into the village. So different level of economy of the particular place. So that way hierarchy grew, then contagious. So you can also explain all these types diagrammatic, diagrammatically also. Uh, then relocation is a type where, as, as the name says, relocation. The place of origin will relocate. Source will be sales along diffusion. Things subjected to diffusion sell this place of origin and settle elsewhere in new place. For example, I'm putting here one example also African Negroes that settle in USA, where the place, the, 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 the native place uh, from Africa, they settle in USA, where they find a new place of origin or new center from where again they are diffused inside USA. But in that case, there is no connection between Africa and USA once they gone towards the other place. So place of origin is detached in that case, relocation. Then the third type is a combination of expansion relocation where the things will be diffused from one place to another. Origin will also remain same. Then there will be a second place. Then subsequently there will be a third place. And eventually, at some point of time, the, in the, the first place of origin will disappear in terms of its impact. Expansion related, third one. You can write down the important parts. Then, so yes, this is one of the uh, uh, diagrammatic explanation of the model of diffusion uh, and its types, expansion types, and just as you can uh, recall, the place of origin remains intact and it is eventually diffused into different directions, receptor 1, receptor 2, receptor 3, and number of receptors will accept an idea or man, material, whatever it is diffused from the place of origin. The place of origin remains intact. This is expansion type. Diagonal. Then the second one, relocation time. As I said earlier, the place of origin also will change. The place of origin from where the things are diffused the new, to the new place, new place of receptor, as well as new origin from where they will diffuse to the second place or n number of places affected by a new wave of receptor. In that case, the place of origin origin will remain intact in the place of origin itself, but eventually in subsequent stages they will create new place of origin. That is relocation, relocation of uh, diffusion, new wave from new place of origin, subsequently another wave from another place of origin. That is why it is named as relocation time. Then, These are the certain elements which are identified by the uh, by Thurston Jackson uh, in terms of uh, understanding the mechanism of diffusion. Uh, there are three set of elements: spatiotemporal elements, area, and time. These are the two dimensions where diffusion are taking place: space and time. That is. Diffusion is take, taking place over space in time dimension. So spatiotemporal two elements. Then related to elements to be diffused. Which are to be diffused? What is diffused? So I tend to be diffused, then place of origin. There will be place of origin, then the thing will be diffused. Then related to the process, place of destination, where the diffusion is going. Place of destination, that is the receptor. Then the path of diffusion, that is the way or the direction through which the diffusion is taking place. These are the, these are the various elements related to uh, diffusion as identified by Hegerson himself. Three cells broken. Then these are the various stages of diffusion wave as identified by uh, Hegerson himself as a model diffusion wave. Um, there are three, four stages primary stage where the diffusion will start initially. Then diffusion stage, the, the 
after the second uh, first stage diffusion stage then condensing stage that means diffusion will slowing down when it will slow down when acceptor will no no longer accept the idea or the ma material or whatever the things are diffused condensing stage and eventually saturation stage after saturation there will be no diffusion so these are the sequences or you can identify it as the waves of diffusion or the various stages of diffusion as identified by Hegar's primary actual diffusion stage, condensing stage and saturation stage, four stages. You can also identify it in a graphical manner. How a diffusion starts like this, then eventually it will reach its crest or the peak, then eventually it will fall like this condensing and saturation. So accordingly you can uh, prepare a graph also based on this uh, uh, model. <coughs> then, thank you.